At least three bodies have been recovered so far from the chopper crash site in Arunachal's Upper Siang district. An army helicopter with five people on board had crashed near Singing village in Arunachal Pradesh's Upper Siang district. As per reports, an advanced light helicopter of the Indian Army crashed around 25 kilometers away from Tuting, the headquarter of Upper Siang district. Well, the incident took place shortly before 11 a.m. Well, the Army had deployed two advanced light helicopters for the rescue mission. It needs to be mentioned here that this is the second chopper crash this month in Arunachal Pradesh. Earlier this month, an army chopper crashed in Tawang district. All right, to know more on this, we are being joined over phone line uh, with my colleague Ripunjoy Das. So, Ripunjoy, three bodies have already been recovered. Is the search and rescue operation still underway at this point in time, Ripunjoy? Yes, Priya, the search operation is still underway for the remaining two bodies. That is what the people in the administration of Tuting subdivision has uh, informed us. Uh, however, the identity, Priya, of the persons uh, who have been uh, martyred during this uh, uh, chopper crash has not been established as of now. Uh, they are uh, checking the identity, but uh, uh, the, as you said, the search operation to locate the uh, two other persons are still on. Yes, Ripunja, so who, who is uh, carrying the search operation at this point in time? Are they facing any problems carrying out the search and rescue operation in that area? Uh, Priya, uh, yes, uh, as we said, that uh, it's a big joint operation, massive uh, operation. Uh, as soon as the news of the crash uh, came, uh, came up, uh, the administration deployed the villagers, local villagers who are considered to be experts in this kind of job. Mm -hmm. And uh, from Tuting subdivision, the ADC in charge, uh, moved in with a team of medical and other police personnel magistrates and uh, they moved into a place uh, called Palsi. From Palsi, they had to track an area of around four and a half hours on foot march, crossing a hanging bridge over the mighty Siang River. So uh, after that only, they, uh, the foot search team could reach that place. But uh, the Army and the Air Force had already, we had informed this earlier also, it deployed uh, choppers. In fact, three choppers were pressed into service, two ANH of the Army and one Mi-17 of the Indian Air Force. And you can see from this Northeast Live exclusive visual that how the Mi-17 uh, chopper is uh, hovering around the crash site. And the, uh, these are our exclusive pictures. And, uh, but uh, still, uh, the search operation, as I said, is on, and everybody is involved via uh, the administration, the Air Force, and the Army, local villagers, uh, always there on the forefront in any kind of, in all such kind of tragedies, they have played a crucial and pivotal role. And today also, uh, around 30 to 40 villagers were dispatched uh, at the as the first team uh, to reach the spot. Uh, of the crash site. Uh, so, Ripon Joy, uh, yes, yes. So, five persons were on board. Three dead bodies have been recovered so far. Uh, so, Ripon Joy, now tell me, wh where are the bodies of the deceased uh, at this point in time? Which have been uh, recovered? Priya, uh, hmm. Yes, Priya. Uh, the bodies were airlifted uh, uh, from the crash site and uh, they were taken to Tuting. Uh, Tuting is, uh, there is an army base there and uh, to, uh, you know, they have been airlifted to the Tuting Air Base. Uh, and Priya, earlier we had mentioned that the chopper which has crashed had taken off from Likabali uh, Army Division. Uh, there is an Army Division in Likabali in uh, Lower Siang District of Arunachal Pradesh. So from there it had taken off, but uh, unfortunately uh, the reason still we are yet to know but uh, uh, it crashed at around 10.43 this morning. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, we had this confirmed information that five people were on board 
and NH has a capacity of maximum 6% to be carried. Uh, so 5% were on board and 3 out of the uh, 3 dead bodies have been recovered uh, as of now. Priya. All right, Ripunjai Das, thank you so much for all those details.